Hey guys, welcome back to our adoption. <laughs> Today we are doing how to get my hair pretty. Doing a braiding tutorial for Kylie's hair. I hate when you wash my hair. You hate it when I wash it? Why? Because it's been like a long time. It is. It is. It's a long time. Okay guys, we got Kylie all washed and blow dried out. Look at that. Oh my god. It's bouncy. It's bouncy. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Woo! Oh, my god. Break her neck. <laughs> Again. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um now we're gonna do Kylie's hair in a hairstyle. I think I'm gonna do like the straight braids in the front and then do some knotless braids in the back. No ma'am. I want I want uh, two hearts. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna do two. Okay, so I'm gonna do two hearts on the side, straight, not in the back. No, not like that. It's. I want this. Another ponytail, Kylie? Mm -hmm. You. I really don't want to braid your hair in that ponytail. Can we just do like the not in the mm -hmm. back and. No, ma'am. Let me see. Take it in a shot. Okay, so I mean, I but listen, if you do the knotless in the back, you can still like have it up and down like that, like you know what I'm saying. You, you can do it braid, braid, braid. I don't know with no two ponytails, I just want the one. So just one ponytail. Wrap mm -hmm. around and run her right here. This is a video. And that's just a picture. All right, you know what? I'm gonna let you in this time just because it's late again. And it's gonna take me a while to do those knotless. So, we're gonna braid it back up in a ponytail. And then we're gonna put the two hearts on the side, okay? Are you happy? Are you happy? What are you doing? Laughing? All right, let's get started. So, right now, I'm just gonna start by sectioning off the hair. Y'all seen the picture. Um, it has two hearts on the side. I've never done a heart break, so this is going to be my first time, so y'all bear with me. But what I did was I basically sectioned off her sides into like a square. And I saw on TikTok where a girl was doing like the crescent moon type thing. And I, y'all know my part and I'm not the best. So what I did was I went on ahead and put in like the little triangle to show where my heart's going to dip. And I went back in that part and just rounded everything on out to give it that you know rounded heart shaped type of look and then i went and put like two another little small one because that's going to be my another braid that connects to the larger braid and of course y'all saw in the last tutorial how i was doing the um braiding it up into a ponytail i dropped that one in the comments if you want to see how i braided kylie's hair into a ponytail your girl be having a whole lot of faith in her mom like she swear i'm superwoman and i you know i am i am but she gets on pinterest and get on this ipad and get to googling all these different hairstyles and be like yeah ma do this and do that and she swear that i know how to do all of this stuff and i'm just like okay girl let's go little does she know listen baby your mom just trying to keep your hair done and keep it growing and healthy i don't know how to do all that stuff but you know what i'm gonna try and i'm gonna make i'm gonna make it work I'm a, what I'm going to do, I'm going to make it work. So, yeah, um, excuse my parts and everything um, in this video because um, it was a little difficult with doing this ponytail because I had cut out my edges, not my edges, the sides to do the square heart. So, it was hard parting this and doing it like the middle um, knotless braids in the middle of the ponytail. So, um, yeah, I, I, I made it work, though. I made it work. I made it work. I, it wasn't really into a circle. It was more of another square inside of a square. But, hey, it works out in the end. I am still using that um, gem that's in the red jar. And I'm also playing the K. Elise Hair Growth Oil. It's liquid gold. I think, yep, that's what it's called. It's by K. Elise Hair and 
and um i've used this before i use it on my hair my husband's hair i all every all the austins use the liquid gold from kaylee's hair um and it does just that it's liquid gold for your hair baby it grows it out baby girl y'all seen that silk print how kylie hair was slanging mm -hmm. that's part of her mama and her mama rubbing this liquid gold on its scalp baby and taking care of it so yeah we used that as an off today and i did something funky i went ahead and tried to braid some string in there i really wanted to do the knotless braids in the back i'm so sick of her hair being braided into a ponytail and you don't also want to do ponytails all the time because that causes um breakage so after this style we're definitely going to do some something else that's a little bit more protective and y'all see what i'm doing i'm taking it down because guess what your girl messed up but hey i'm a mom and i'm trying this video right here right here is for all the moms who are just trying to keep their hair their baby's hair done their hair done and uh and not hurting their pockets because my god do y'all know they charging 300 three and four hundred dollars for braids nowadays like i really want to get my hair braided but i don't want to pay 325 but hey by any means i understand hairstylists is a very um underrated job and they work very hard so if you're charging it then you know cool kudos to you you, you probably deserve it but your girl don't want to pay 325 for some braids like um i missed the 180 150 but you know you gotta pay for what you want but uh I'm going to keep on teaching myself so I won't have to pay. But here, okay, so I bust down the um, part that I had made earlier in the middle. And I made another part to um, make sure that I curve it around so that it can give it that circular, rounded shape like the heart. And I just slowly begin to add in here. I will say that I wish that I hadn't, now that I can see the final product while I'm editing this video, I wish I hadn't added that many strands of hair um, in the heart because um, it was a little thick on the end and like it wasn't laying as flat as I wanted it to because our hair is already naturally thick. So I really should have just used the hair just for um, length, like just adding it to the ends for length and kind of just did my heart by itself. But hey, you know, I'm learning and that's what I'm doing and I'm learning and I'm getting done. And it went ugly, like it went just like, ooh, that ugly, I don't know, I don't know what tear to do to that good hell. It wasn't that, but it was just something that I noticed that I would tell you guys, like if your daughter has very thick hair like Kylie's, make sure that you're adding that hair just towards the end for length. Don't add it too much into the braid because then it, it won't dangle and lay flat correctly. And baby Lisa, I'm all over this camera. I promise you I'm going to do better in my next tutorial with putting it closer to Kylie's head. So y'all can actually see what I'm doing. But I was, I was just trying to make sure I got this heart right, honey. I'm moving along with that line. Y'all see how I had to curve on over to the other side? Yeah, so that's, that's that. That's that heart. And I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. But I'm going to add string to the other side. And as you can see, I just kind of unraveled the braid just a little bit and let them and connected them together. You see how thick that is? That's what I was talking about earlier. Like, don't add as much hair as you're braiding it down because you're already going to conjoin the two and it's going to cause the braid to be thicker anyway. So your other pieces of hair are just going to be for length. So if I could go back and do something differently, I would. But guess what your girl ain't doing it? Cause look, look, the heart is there and it's still cute. There we go. Yep. Okay, so now y'all know I did that little bitty triangle in the middle um, of the heart so that I can have that little dip. So what I'm going to do is just comb it out and just try to get that a little bit neater. You don't have to braid that all the way down. You just want to braid it enough so that it can give that um, stitch effect of going into the next braid. So you don't have to braid it all the way down because you're going to connect it to the um, other braid that's going to go there in the front of the ponytail. Oh, look, I'm just janking her head all around, baby. Look, look how she looking like, dang. <laughs> but I don't care because she, she offered to get in my chair every other week. So I can yank her head around. She'll be all right. She'll be all right. 
so um yeah and i already showed you guys how to do the braided ponytail i'll drop that in the description as well but also when i'm braiding when i'm adding the the color string i'm literally just adding it to the hair that's already separated just cutting a piece of string and you see in the back i'm just laying it flat on top of the hair and just braiding it in with the hair and yeah here's the finished product Ooh, just a little bit of peekaboo string i didn't want too much and my girl loved it yeah what y'all think what y'all think i think i did pretty good for this to be my first one and my first time trying hearts i would do a couple things differently but hey i got the job done do you like it? What is that? Is that yes? Okay, stop. Ew. <laughs>